shouldn't be too long now until this war's over. We just need to take down his army, and, uh... I didn't assault that back. Damn it. Or I did I? We've taken... We have won the Siege of Seville. Seville. We have taken control of the holding from Despot. Wait, what? Defending against... The Trebizondian War to make Emperor Ramadan, the Mutilator, pay tribute. What? This guy declared a war against the Emperor of Hispania to force him to pay tribute. Holy crap, the Byzantine Empire. My god. They still hate each other. Shouldn't someone in my family have that? My wife. She has a claim on the Kingdom of Italy. Um, shouldn't I have inherited a... Oh yeah, I have a claim on East France here, which I have not been able to press yet. Ooh, I just realized I need to, I need to take Munster. Because, uh... That's a, uh, this is actually the opportune time to do so. Um, he'll stop his plotting. My marshal has discovered a man of great military talent called Roman, who is willing to serve in my ranks. One of my commanders has improved significantly. All right. Assault that. Just keep assaulting through these. 70%. 78%. Actually, I'm gonna go through. Wow, that's. I, f I always forget that uh, Morse can do that when I'm not playing as them, I should say. Okay, 94%. What's going on here? Mecklenburg. I'm going to avoid that one, because I'd honestly like to see the King of Sweden not have it. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. He'll accept the end of the war. And we've taken the Duchy of... Was it Holstein? Yes. Holstein. Can you serve a title? The Duchy of Holstein. We'll do that now so that I don't have to later. Um, I wish I could just turn around and give it to the King of Saxony. He seems to be trouble, uh, having trouble trying to give that to or uh, keep his land right now. What's my threat at? Fifty-one percent. So. Is Lubeck in the pack against me? Yes. Is... If I... I need to wait until that uh, threat comes down by like 1.2%. We'll disband the... Holy Order. Move down to Holstein and move the boats in as well. I can probably build another retinue, huh? Nope, I'm very close though. Um, holy war? Really? Oh, he's got both Lubeck and Braunschweig. Uh, he's got like two counties.
that's actually not that big of a pack to, or a defensive pack that I would be fighting against. I'll probably also get the Kingdom of Norway uh, coming in to help uh, someone of the same religion. But, um, of course, I could just declare a du jour claim. Yeah. This one will probably, this one will be a holy war. Wait a minute. I can't declare both of those wars at the same time. That sucks. So, let me think. This one, this is the Duke of Gallery, yeah? He's at war. We'll wait until, oh, it looks like they're, they have another war going on. No, it's just the Duke of Aquitaine. They're hostile to them. So. I think. Declare the Holy War for Cologne. Yes. Um, before I do anything else, I want to give this land to vassals <clears throat> those are all too low to really do anything with as far as upgrading them so I will make some vassals just in case they um, Oops, didn't need to do the castle. <clears throat> so. This might be actually a smart move, maybe? Wait, no, no, it's not. I was thinking, give him the Duchy of Holstein, of uh, Holstein, and uh, then grant him independence. But no, then I would find myself in the same boat as earlier, whenever I lost all of the access to holy wars in the Baltic. So, I will give him uh, Munster, though whenever I take it. There's my grandson who needs an educator. Thrift again. And I will assign myself as his guardian. We're at war with Moonster. Raise the Holy Order again. I hope that's still enough to defeat all of these guys that we're now up against, but, uh, we'll see. Right, I still need to give these away. I think these will be given to, are there any king, are there any brothers that he has still off? I can grant him a, a land of titles. Uh, yeah, I'll go with the counties of Holstein, Bramen, Hamburg, and Bremen. I don't think he's... Damn. Should have suspected that. Um... Bad forethought on my part. Um, I 
Find claimants for the Kingdom of Saxony. Nope. Um, claimants for the Duchy of Brunswick. Sure. Or, oh, he's... I don't know. Um, what is the culture there? Norse and Pomeranian and Saxon. I mean, I've been giving it to members of my dynasty. If they can convert cultures, that's fine. But I don't want to risk putting too much power in their hands. Case in the fat. Where's he in the inheritance? That's his liege. That's his father. I think he's a safe one to grant it to. We'll see. Uh, Bremen, or, yeah, we'll go with bro both Bremen and Hamburg. In fact, he can have the Duchy of Holstein for all I care. Alright. And we're still in a war. Or we're in a, another war, I should say. Polish liberation of Kiev. These guys are declaring a war, or not declaring war. They're, these guys are sieging my land. And we'll send these guys into siege Munster or Munster. Surprised more people haven't haven't uh, come into the war on to defend uh, people of their own religion. Just assault that. Is this the only count he has? Is this going to be a hundred percent right now? Yes, it's over. This war is over. He can take it. That was easy. And now that those are under my control, um, I kind of want to wait until I can usurp the Duchy of Gallery. How much longer until these wars are over? Holy War for Flanders. Holy War for Flanders. Conquest of Plotty. Lower Tribal Organization. Yeah, I have a truce with him right now. I think. Alright. Yeah. Those are the Alms Vikings. They're independent. Uh, disband the Holy Order. I didn't want to disband the ships, actually. Oh well, we can uh, raise our own ships if, if we need to. Since we need to, I guess. Forget it, we'll just call on our vast ships. Doesn't have any. It's enough. That's a pretty good amount. That's enough. And we'll go to Friesland. And move everyone back to the center. For now, I might move them back to the flanks at a later time. Wait, she's got 
Or, oh no, Roman has a uh, organizer. And this guy has heavy infantry. That's actually a really good combination, I think. We've got a heavy infantry leader, a holy, uh, holy warrior, and a, uh, an organizer. Some really good military leader traits. He's now in the Christian defensive pact against me, along with everybody else. Um, my grandson, I could make him cruel or he could use some practice reading. So I want to see both of these kids for a second. He's curious. Um, curious can develop into shrewd. Shrewd is pretty good because uh, it, it increases all of your stats. It's basically like quick minus one, one in every stat, but uh, it increases the likelihood of getting a good education. At least that's what I think I read. Everything I read is speculate. Well, not everything I read is spe speculation, but I'm speculative of everything I read. Or is that the right word? I am very critical of your hunting dog needs proper training yeah no shit uh, I will train him personally the Evro tribe has been he's yeah okay um What are these words looking like? Skeptical. Skeptical is the word I was trying to think. I'm skeptical of everything I read as far as like uh, how stuff works for this game and most other things actually too. But uh, looks like those holy words are going nowhere right now. And. It doesn't look like anyone's raiding our lands, which is good. That's what I'm actually what I've actually been trying to do is reduce the number of raiders. And if you look at it, Vidukin, uh, what? The Saxons are a people that cling to cling fiercely to their old traditions. After suffering defeats and conquests, in spite of tenacious resistance, discontent has continued to simmer in the pagan Saxon lands. Raids on tax collectors. Uh, we have pagan. We actually have raiders on. Uh, in Gowry right now. Uh, defiance of church deities, all these things have been annoyances to the new rulers without really pre presenting any severe dangers. Now, however, things seem to have changed. A rebel leader has emerged, uniting the rebellious Saxons and gathering warriors for more concerted attacks. He calls himself Vidikin, and a name that means child of the woods, an obvious reference to old pagan myths and fitting to the hit and run tactics used by his forces thus far. The army is gathering. In, it, the army he is gathering is growing. However, indomitable Saxons. Okay, I didn't know that that could fire. If it apparently didn't fire. Yeah, I didn't know that it could. F what? It fired for me. All right. Um. I did not realize that could happen. I thought, I thought, I didn't know what I thought. I would have imagined it would have fired already, but it usually happens to Charlemagne if he presses his claim for Saxony. So I need to go and destroy these, uh, re this rebellion. And it's a defensive war. So my vassals won't mind at all. So I don't really need my retinue. I think. I think I don't need my retinue. Hmm. 
gather all of these guys in the Isle of Man as usual. Oh, he's he's a powerful vassal, isn't he? Is he good at anything? Not really. He's a he's a passable command or a marshal, but my marshal is my current marshal is more passable. Send these guys all to join the group. These guys as well. Oh, huh, the the Isle of Man is down here. Looks like it. Oh yeah, I have holdings in uh. Europe as well. And mainland Europe, I should say. Huh. Christopher Carling uh, joined the defense pact against me. It looks like France is getting torn apart. I gain one health. That is the primary. That event right there is the primary reason I take the hunting focus. Uh, as like this late in life, anyway, because my wife is old, uh, and that's not why. Uh, I take it though because it incre It basically gives you the possibility of getting three health. You get one from the focus, one from the hunting dog. And uh, one from training him if you are already diligent. If you're not already diligent, you move towards diligent. Um, he's trying to blackmail this guy because probably realized I said something about him wanting the Duke of Granada wanting his job or being the only other uh, the only powerful vassal eligible for it. But I'm not going to use it. <clears throat> I can possibly gain one stewardship or become content. I can tame those numbers. Our daughter still has chest pains. She's had chest pains for a long time. She's pregnant with another kid. He's one. Wait, he's he's the heir to, or he's got claims on. Yes, he does. So uh, that might be really good for us if uh, that kid actually gets claims on stuff. <clears throat> and. Uh, I mean, I'll be fine with playing with, as either of the grandkids, and if my daughter's chest pains don't go away, then we can... During my wife's... Why was my wife in Nubia? During my wife's recent trip to Nubia, we had a great time discussing the similarities between our people. I suggest a non-aggression pact between us for the, rear, for the near future, and we will welcome any visitor, visitors from your realm with open arms. A wonderful idea, or... Oh! I've never, I don't think I've ever actually read that at the end of that. I've, I wonder if I could, if they would be more welcome, not uh, necessarily the, uh, like, reformed pagans or uh, organized religions like Muslims or Jews, but uh, in non-reformed pagan lands, if I sign a non-aggression pact, will they be more willing to convert to Christianity? Um, he is the Sultan of Abyssinia. Why would I do that? That's a, like, it's really not, uh, a beneficial pact at all. Some kind of war for Prince Walbert's claim on, okay. I'll 
disband the ships. White Stag will not escape me this time. And they split up their forces so much that the uh, guys they sent up into Holstein will not get here in time. Gain Humble. That's not too bad. More opinion with other Humble people. And I will split my army in half. One of them will go to Moonster. And the other will wait until they get to Osnabrück and then we'll go attack them. Actually, I should have gone the other way. Like that. Oh good, he has allies other than... Uh, he has allies that will come to war with him. Like the Duke of Venice, or the Doge of Venice. Alright, that's done. Now I have, well, all we have to do is defeat the army a couple more times, probably. He'll probably go to Hamburg? Nope, Lunenburg. And after we go to... Oh, that's it. He became on land. I thought he was already unlanded. But he's dead now, so that's fine. These guys can stand down. And so can these guys once they get back to my land. And there we go. 